friends welcome to Aishwarya Wellness Studio. The topic that we are going to see is it is a new series where I am going to talk about infertility. Uh, there will be like a series of uh, videos I will be posting weekly twice on infertility issues that are commonly seen in men and women. Okay, So, this video is going to be the first video in which I am going to talk about vitamin D deficiency how it impacts over the infertility in both men and women. If you want to get information about women's health, the pregnancy, postpartum care, newborn care, please do subscribe to my channel and like and press the notification button so that you will get the information as soon as I post my videos. So, let us go into the topic. Vitamin D is a very, very essential vitamin with respect to overall health and well being of a man as well as in women because you know this vitamin D is responsible for your bone health, your muscle health, your health of the heart as well as you know to build the immunity in our body to reduce the inflammatory reactions in our body and also for you know the hormones especially the sexual hormones production and its use. So, definitely it has a, a correlation between the fertility level there is a strong correlation between the fertility levels in humans with the vitamin D. Vitamin D is actually a fat soluble vitamin which can be synthesized you know by our skin when we expose our skin to sunlight. So, that is where the problem comes 80 percentage of the time it is only synthesized by exposing our skin to the sunlight only 20 percentage of the vitamin can be absorbed from the food what we take. So, now what happens is because of the lifestyle change and we are being locked down uh, locked inside the home even otherwise if we go out also we are most of the time spending inside the car or even if we are covering our body with the cloth we are not exposing our body to sunlight the maximum part of of the body is being covered and also we are applying sunscreen actually by doing all these things you are interfering with absorption of very essential vitamin uh, which is called the vitamin D. This is the only vitamin which is you know prepared which can be prepared just by exposing your body to sunlight on the surface of the skin. So, when we apply sunscreen, when you cover all parts of your body with clothes, you know, we are not, when you are not exposing your body to sunlight, that is when you get this vitamin D deficiency. The vitamin D absorption or the production is also uh, correlated with, you know, the more you are aged, the absorption ability will be less. And then the color of the skin also has a great influence over the absorption. The lightest people with lighter skin tone are actually better to absorb vitamin D. People with darker skin, the absorption ability will be definitely less. So, what we need to do? We have to make sure that we expose our skin, maximum part of the skin to sunlight either early in the morning or late in the evening. That will make sure that your body is, you know, uh, capable of absorbing the required amount of vitamin D. Okay. So, other than that there are food sources which you can actually uh, take like for example, uh, meat of course it has fish has rich source of vitamin D and egg yolk also has vitamin D which is you know all these are active form of vitamin D which is called as D3. There is also another inactive form of vitamin D which is D2 which is available in mushrooms and also in greens. So, when you consume these things you can get around 20 percentage of vitamin D. But the maximum part as I told you only through exposing the skin to your sunlight. So, we all know that there is a, a vitamin D is essential for you know bone growth, but we do not know that it is also responsible for reducing inflammation in our body. Because why you know the vitamin D which is a fat soluble vitamin, it has receptors in each and every cell or in our body which is the vitamin D receptor protein. This vitamin D goes and binds with that vitamin D uh, receptor protein and it helps in repairing of the tissue that is when if the repair is happening you will not have any inflammation in our body there. If there is a proper repair system you will not have inflammation. So, if people who have autoimmune disorders they are likely to have vitamin D deficiency. So, if you expose them to you know vitamin D their, their uh, inflammatory level will be reduced. Same way your gut or intestinal health is related to vitamin D deficiency. There is 
you know in in your reproductive system especially in women if there is a vitamin d deficiency this will result in menstrual disorders and also endometriosis fibroid formation and also it also interferes with you know ovulation because uh, production of egg is also uh, affected because of this vitamin d deficiency because you know every cell in our body requires good amount of vitamin d for it to live healthy so egg is also a cell in our, in a women's body so if you want a healthy egg or if you want to like release egg every in your every menstrual uh, cycle then you should have good amount of vitamin d other than this it also interferes with production of sexual hormones both in men as well as in women and your vitamin d deficiency it also is related with insulin resistance a common condition where your body cells are not able to absorb the required amount of insulin that is available there and it in women results in pcos a condition commonly related to infertility so pcos infertility vitamin d deficiency obesity are all interrelated and inflammation in your body are all interrelated so if you get enough amount of vitamin d then you will not get obese so if you want to generally when you go to you go for infertility treatments what your doctor used to tell us you have to lose weight okay if you have insulin resistance losing weight becomes very difficult or if you are insulin resistant you will be like obese okay you will also have pcos so everything can be simply corrected by taking or absorbing the right amount of vitamin d it also interferes with you know endometriosis a condition where women's uterine lining is thick where again it results in infertility so if you don't want to develop endometriosis or fibroid in your uterus then you have to take right amount of vitamin d okay the same way uh, in men also vitamin d levels hugely interfere with production of sperm and also motility of the sperm these two are important factors with respect to infertility in men you you need to have good sperm and also good amount of motile sperm for it to be like fertilized you know to have a uh, baby so it also interferes with production of hormone androgen and testosterone which are like you no know, male hormones for their sexual health it also results in men erectile dysfunction a condition where they have difficulty with their sexual health so overall there are studies which are done worldwide especially in two major uh, um, uh, countries one is denmark where there is very little sunlight uh, available and also in canada okay there they have seen that even people or couples who are going for infertility treatment like ivf etc etc when they are being supplemented with vitamin d levels the chances for them to get pregnant actually it increases by 46 percentage see there is a huge difference even if you are opting for not the natural methods as yes, for natural methods obviously it is very important but not only for natural methods even if you are going for artificial methods of fertility therapies you need to have good amount of vitamin d okay so what you can do best to get enough amount of vitamin d number 1 exposing your skin maximum to sunlight okay don't you know cover through your body throughout you know uh, with uh, um, um, clothes instead expose small part of your body to sunlight some part of your body to sunlight like your face hands and also your legs so that the required amount of vitamin d will be absorbed number 2 stop using if at all if you are using sunscreens which are going to interfere with production of vitamin d okay number 3 you have to take food which is rich in vitamin d so like fish and also mushroom dairy yak yolk this contains a good amount of vitamin d even with all these things if you are not getting enough amount of vitamin d then you have to consult your doctor to get supplemented with vitamin d uh, this is very easy you will be like asked to take weekly once capsule or like you know drops like that of vitamin d for 8 weeks or so 
that will help you with you know get back the normal levels of vitamin D so check your vitamin D levels it is a very simple blood test which can be done any time of the day to know whether you are uh, vitamin D deficient then if you have deficiency try to follow the natural thing and also try to uh, take supplementation which is again going to have a great influence to control your PCOS okay you are reduce your inflammatory reaction in your body and endometriosis and also reduce weight if you want to reduce weight vitamin D is essential and then uh, prevent formation of fibroids and in men right amount of sperm formation sperm motility and good sexual hormones in both men and women i hope this information is very useful to you please uh, if you want any further information with respect to for fertility and infertility ask me in the comment section i am ready to answer thank you so much meet you in the next video